This movie will explain the vessel management of a general vessel. In PDS, is vessel management done in the vessel configuration? When creating a new project, then from the new project wizard, the vessel configuration is included in the configuration wizard pages. Let's run the new project wizard to see how this works. Select from the file menu, new project. The new project wizard starts with the project name page. Enter a name and press the next button. The next page is the project configuration page. In this page settings such as the project description, the coordinate system, the project units, disk space management and other settings are configured. The next page of the new project wizard is the application type page. Select the correct application type and continue. Now you can start to run the configuration wizard which includes the vessel configuration. Select the checkbox and press next to continue. Enter a name for the configuration. And here, we can add our vessel configuration to set up or manage our vessel. Press the add button. Existing vessel configurations are listed in the drop-down list and may be added. To create a new vessel configuration, press the new button. Enter a name. Select this checkbox if you like to use an existing vessel configuration as a template. We keep it empty. The vessel configuration wizard starts. The first page is the geometry page. We will discuss later in this movie the settings of the vessel configuration pages. If you press the next button, then the next page opens of the vessel configuration. The equipment page opens. Here you can add the devices, set the properties and set the I.O. We will demonstrate this later in the movie. Press the next button to open the different pages of the vessel configuration wizard. The data sources page. The guidance page. The logging page. The aliases page. And the last page of the vessel configuration, the alarms page. Press OK to close the Vessel Configuration Wizard and to continue the Configuration Wizard. The Vessel Configuration is listed in the Configuration. Press Next to continue the Configuration Wizard of the new project. The Configuration continues with the Layouts page, the Events page, and the Alarms page. Press the Finish button to close the new project wizard. A new project is created with a new vessel configured. Let's now take a closer look to the vessel configuration and how to manage a vessel. To manage a vessel, open the configuration. The vessel configuration of the project is listed. Double click to open it. The vessel configuration includes different tab pages as we have seen in the vessel configuration wizard. Open the Geometry page. In the Geometry page, we configure the device offsets, the visualization shapes, and vessel specific geometry settings such as the draft, sea level and turn radius. If the user select, use standard shape, then the user can select standard shapes from the drop down list. Press this button to change the size of the selected standard shape. Set the applicable sizes. The user can also select his own shape. Select, use custom shape. Press this button to select the type of the shape and the file. DXF, 3DS, and SKP files are supported. Select the file from the drop down list. The file must be copied first into the project. In the geometry page the user can set the draft, the turn radius, and the sea level. Set always the sea level. The sea level is used when tide is used as height source, and when sound velocity profiles are used. We see the notes to measure the sea level to the center of gravity. We distinguish two points on the vessel. 
the central reference point, CRP, and the center of gravity point. The CRP is the chosen point on the vessel to measure the device offsets from, also known as the zero offset point. The center of gravity is a point determined by the vessel characteristic such as the weight. The most accurate is to measure the sea level to the center of gravity, and set the offset of the center of gravity to the CRP but in general you can leave this offset zero and measure the sea level to the CRP. Select surface vessel. Subsurface is only used for UVs and ROVs. In the geometry page are also the device offsets defined. We can create a list with offsets. Or we can define the offsets locally in the properties of the device. Press the Add button to add and offset to the device offset list. Enter a name and set the offsets in the dialog. The offset is added to the list. Select and offset from the list and press the Edit button to modify the offset. Change the parameters and press OK. Or double click on the offset in the list to edit the offset. The device defined offsets are defined in the device's properties. Notice, you use either offsets defined in the offset list, or you use locally device defined offsets. We will see this in the equipment page later. Open the equipment page. In the equipment page are the device drivers added, and the device properties configured. To add a device to the equipment list, select the correct group. The devices are ordered by group. And select the applicable device driver. Press the Add button to add the device. The device is added to the equipment list. If you like to remove a device, then select the device and press the Remove button. A special device is the multi beam all option. When selecting a all options device driver and pressing the add button to add it to the equipment list, all selected options are also added to the equipment list. As we see in this example, where all options of the recent multi beam are added to the equipment list, all the options have the same IO and needs only to be defined once. When you select an option and press the remove button, the user have the possibility to remove all the option devices at once, or only the selected option. We select all options device and all options are removed. Instead of adding the all options device, the user can also add the devices individually. In the equipment page are also the properties of the devices configured. Just double click on the device to open the properties. If we open the positioning device properties, then you can set the positioning device offsets. If you select use offset list, you can select the offset as created earlier in the geometry page. Or alternatively, select use local offset and set the offsets locally. Another important setting for the positioning device is the timestamp mode. There are three timestamp modes. In general for a GPS positioning system is the timestamp mode set to time in message. The GPS output message contains time. In this mode it is also necessary to time synchronize the computer clock. See the PDS multi-beam manual and the technical note, clock synchronization for more information about time stamping. Another important setting is in the reference point computation. Double click on the reference point computation to open the properties. In the properties you have to set the height source. There are four height sources. Select GPS height RTZ. If the height is achieved from the GPS positioning system, select Tide if the height is achieved from a tide gauge. For a multi-beam system, it is important to set the device offset 
and the angle correction values. See the PDS multi-beam manual for more information. Set the applicable properties for all devices. In the equipment page you also set the I.O. for the devices. Click on the device to select it and press the I.O. port button. The interfacing dialog opens. Select the correct I.O. port. If the port is not listed, it must be created. Click on the Add button to create a new port. Different types of ports can be added, such as serial ports, Ethernet socket ports or device specific ports. More information can be found in the PDS sensor setup manuals. Set the I.O. port for each added device. From the computations page of the vessel configuration, the user can manage the computations. In general there is no need to add a computation. But for example if tide is used, a tide computation is added. Press the advanced button. The advanced computations are listed. In this example the tide computation is added. Press the add button to add the computation. The properties are set. See the PDS user manual for more information of how to add a tide computation. In the data sources page. The user can manage the data sources. If more data sources are available, for example if we use two positioning systems, then we can set the primary source by using the arrow keys. So, if we select the second source, and we press the up arrow, it becomes the primary data source. From the guidance page, the user can manage the guidance. Each guidance type is accessible by the guidance tab pages. From the drop down lists, are guidance files selected. Press the New button to create a new guidance file. The guidance editor opens. See the guidance editor manual or watch the guidance editor movie for more information about the guidance editor. Open the tools page. The tools page includes tab pages. It depends of the application if additional tab pages will be shown. For example, the Dredge application includes more tools tab pages. For a general survey, the tools page can be ignored. In the logging page, are the logging settings managed? Different logging file formats can be selected. The simulation page is only used for single beam simulation. From the aliases page, the user can give an alias to a driver name. In the alarms page are the alarms managed. Always press the OK button to validate the settings. The vessel managed easily by the Teledyne PDS vessel configuration.